Hi from Muscat, the capital of Sultanate of Oman, the city which was inhabited for the past at least 3000 years. This is Al Jalali Fort and this is Al Mirani Fort. They both built in the end of 16th century, around 1587, and in between Al Alam, a presidential palace. This is one of six official royal residences of Sultan Qaboos, the previous Sultan of Oman. Built in 1972 in contemporary Islamic style and palace is used for ceremonial purposes now. This Al Mirani fort is closed for public. It's built during Portuguese occupation. I can see another fort and some another tower across. So Oman has 500 forts across the country. So I can see at least four here in this bay. Amazing. Let's walk around this old city, which was occupied by Portuguese in 16th century. This is Bait Franza. It was a residence of French consuls until 1920. And now it's Omani French Museum. And restoration are ongoing, because you see everything is just newly restored over here. Muscat is squeezed between the sea and the mountains and is quite stretched out for like 50 or 60 kilometers. So this old town is the extreme east end of the city, while airport is the extreme west. So it's like almost one hour drive from the airport to this old town. Approaching the main gate of old town, this is Bab Al Kabir, the main gate to the old city. And right here is Muscat Palace Station. Also cool contemporary design of the building. This is the main gate and you can see it's all surrounded with walls, old city. This area is mostly museums in the old city. Muscat population is around one and a half million people and there's already like a quarter of country population. And there are no skyscrapers and like massive high buildings and just all like uh, low rise buildings all around the place. Very noisy, the flights, they're approaching the airport and you can see this area from above. Like me yesterday, I was lucky enough to witness this old town area from my seat. I just left from the main road, three minutes away from the gate. And over here already you can see residential buildings of locals. And another tower on a hill, residential area and some shops, kebabs, very quiet neighborhood in the old town of Muscat. Wow. Look at those narrow, cozy streets of Old Town with uh, very bright white buildings, newly painted. And I just approach the main museum of the area is Bait Al Zubair. There are weapons, jewelry costumes, some old Omani village recreated inside. It's this big. But I'm not going inside. I just like to stroll and absorb this wipe of old town some art gallery also here all about culture and history of this area okay it's open from 9 to 5 30. the entrance fee is 3.2 real and it's open until 5 30 pm i'm not going inside just admire it from outside and go explore a bit more in this area And in the gift shop, they gave me Omani flag for free. Amazing. Wow. Beside the museum, there is a hospital. But this was a former royal home. I read somewhere it should be an art gallery. Hey. But it seems it's just a hospital here now. And another Omani flag. And another Omani flag. They're everywhere. And residential area behind. So as I mentioned, the city of Muscat is very spread out. Airport is on western side of the city. 
and Old Town is the eastern part of the city. So I'm staying right in the middle between those two locations. So taxi from the airport to my hotel in the middle was 10 Omani Real meter taxi, which is a lot. And from my hotel to here, I just flagged some taxi and it was 7 Real already, cheaper. So airport meter taxi is much, much more expensive. From here, you can see how old town is trapped between all those mountains. And now I'm approaching the uh, Muscat Gate Museum. It seems like new structure because this museum is opened in 2001. And this museum contains different exhibits from country's history from Neolithic times. Obviously, it's a completely new building. And I'm leaving old town through this gate. And now I'm going to Mutra. It's another neighborhood in Muscat. Right next to old city is the old commercial heart and it's much busier than old Muscat. One kilometer away from here, I probably take a taxi. It's windy and it's like 19 degrees already quite cold. This is Mutra Corniche. It's like a promenade along the bay in the old commercial hub of Muscat, very old part of the city. So the taxi from old town, like one and a half kilometer, maybe less, they ask for five real, which is very expensive for like few minutes drive. I negotiated to three real, which is still quite expensive, but okay, taxi quite expensive here. And right here in this bay, in Mutra, you can see the, a lot of yachts, and cruise ships coming from Dubai and uh, from Europe and other places as a part of a cruise. So Muscat is a big stopover here. If you are traveling by cruise ship, you will end up in Mutra, in Muscat. Before Oman discovered oil, this was basically the main port in the region. But now it's still also a big port and a big hub for commerce. A lot of shops and souks there. I'll go explore later. I just noticed the people up the hill, climbing, maybe I also can go there. Let's see. Entering the bustling part of Mutra. So it goes all the way around the Corniche. I go to the opposite side probably to see the shops, what they sell, souvenirs, restaurants. Leaving the Corniche at the traffic light. And what I see in front of me is Mutra Souk. Matra Souk is a traditional market and one of the oldest and the most authentic market in the Arab world, dating back around 200 years. Those concrete shops replaced old palm structures in the 1970s and I had a very important 10 minute stroll around the souk to absorb a piece of Muscat history and Amani culture. What a vibe and what a smell, like Arabic Souk, some mural, this is the old fort, it was rainy past few days, city is not prepared for such rainy days in such dry climate. So it's like 200 meters of trading area and this is the exit already. There's some trading continues and there's a mosque and another fort up there. And deep inside is the old street of Mutra. There's very old buildings below the fort in Arabic style. And police station, a modern building already. So Mutra is a bustling part of Muscat, but still quite relaxed and peaceful. Not too many people this Saturday afternoon, no rush. No doubts, very, very pleasant and calm. Walking back to Corniche by another wing of the souk. Same shops. Mostly souvenirs and clothes. This may be gold. So I'm back to main street where Corniche is at the opposite side. And here just normal shops, restaurants, Money changers, banks, 
very quiet walk along the palms by the sunset over Muscat Oman and craft corner there are even much more buildings uh, in Arabic style with balconies in different colors some balconies are white like buildings some are like brownish very traditional buildings there is no metro system in Muscat and bus uh, system and that work is not that comprehensive but taxis are everywhere you can find them in any place around the town so they're also parked along the corniche not a problem to find one approaching the heart of Mutra and Muscat is a fish roundabout even two fish statues are over here it's fish roundabout because right behind it is a fish market right right beside the port so they catch the fish bring here and sell such a pleasant day today for a walk a bit cold windy but very very pleasant not hot as it gets during the summer like plus 45 or so Beit Al Baranda this was an old Muscati mansion it's open until 6 p.m. and costs only one real admission fee and another airplane approaching Muscat airport at the west part of the city so as you can see they fly right over the old town of Muscat so if you planning your trip to Muscat take a window seat on the right side of the plane and that's it finishing the video with a pleasant sunset over Muscat Oman amazing okay Hope you enjoyed. Visit Muscat, Oman. Amazing. Yeah. Bye.